It's a figure that largely goes very unnoticed, that of stillborn babies in Australia. More than 1,700 babies were stillborn in Australia last year. That's around five a day. These new figures have led to renewed calls for governments and also the private sector to invest more funding and research into what some are calling a national health crisis. Victoria Bowering is from the Stillbirth Foundation Australia and joins us now in the studio. Victoria, thanks so much for dropping in today. You're Those statistics, I would say for many people, are quite surprising. The, that high number of stillbirths in Australia, why, why don't we know more about these numbers? We don't know more about these numbers because people don't want to talk about it. Um, it's very much still a taboo topic here in Australia and, and around the world, um, but the numbers are frightening and the statistic that the ABS have released yesterday or the day before indicates that it's the largest cause of death in children under 12 months of age. You know, it's a national health crisis. Why is a topic taboo? When we think of the word taboo, we often think of words like shame with that. Why yes. is stillbirth in that taboo category? I believe it's mainly because there is an element of the unknown around stillbirth. Right. Um, you know, 65% of stillbirths currently have no known cause. Uh, and that creates a situation where not knowing what to do, how to treat the problem, um, can cause people to just not want to know about it, not talk about it. The people who actually go through the stillbirth themselves just don't, because they don't know, they don't want to express what's Actually, the people who go through the stillbirth are the ones that are prepared to talk right. about their experience. Um, the first thing that they do is come to us and say, how can I stop this from happening to another family? Um, they're very willing to share their experience. It's the, the general public, those that haven't been touched by it or, mm. or don't know about the stillbirth statistics, that find it quite confronting. Just looking through a, a, a spreadsheet that we've received today around these statistics, the cause of stillbirths, you're mm -hmm. saying that 65% we don't really know we don't, necessarily what no. happens, but of those that we do, uh, co congenital abnormality, for example, yes. um, maternal conditions, there's so many different ways in which a stillbirth can come about. That's right. And some statistics also saying that up to a third of these are preventable. Yes, we, we know that there's a third, up to a third that are preventable. Um, they're preventable by quite simplistic measures. Um, it, sleeping on the left side for the mum is mm. something that can reduce the risk of stillbirth. Uh, baby's movements are particularly important when it comes to the health of the baby. You will get to know your own baby's movements throughout the pregnancy and any changes that happen in that pattern need to be reported immediately. So why the left side? And, and when we go through that education when we're pregnant, why isn't the uh, danger and the potential danger of stillbirth something that's spoken about during pregnancy? I think it's a lack of education, mm. um, quite frankly. We're currently you know, seeking governments to engage with the Stillbirth Foundation to provide the funding for us to be able to roll out those education programs. Mm. And it's not just about educating the parents, uh, it's also about educating the health professionals, uh, hospital systems, what to look for, when, you know, when to address an issue and, and to take women seriously if they have a concern. We've seen that education uh, do wonders for SIDS for example, yes. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. So many new mothers know exactly kind of what to look out for, not having too many blankets in the cot, that's such a fearful space, yes. but we don't see that fear necessarily in the stillbirth area. We don't. People assume that when your baby's in utero, it's perfectly safe, healthy, mm. happy, you know, you're looking after it and, and nurturing it. And the sad reality is, uh, as we know, you know, 1,718 times last year, that wasn't the case. Um, I do believe we can do the same thing for stillbirth that has been done for SIDS through that education campaign. Victoria Bowering, General Manager of the Stillbirth Foundation. Thanks so much for dropping in on your Friday afternoon. I You're so welcome, appreciate Connie. it. Thank you. See you soon.